I'm Grammy Robin. What's your name and your favorite book? Tell me in the comments. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and peck that bell. The Prideful Peacock, written by Julia Zhang. Once upon a time, there was a prideful peacock. He had the most magnificent feathers in the whole forest. Peacock was very proud. He thought he was the most beautiful creature in the world. One day, Peacock was taking a stroll in the forest when he saw Hen sitting on her eggs. Hey, Hen, Peacock called. Look at you, sitting all day. No wonder you're so fat. Take a good look at me. I'm slim with good posture. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hen didn't say anything, but her feelings were hurt. Peacock kept walking and saw Duck with her ducklings. Hey, Duck, Peacock called. Your brown feathers are so dull and ugly. Take a good look at me. My feathers are beautiful and shiny. You should feel bad for yourself. Duck didn't say anything, but her feelings were hurt. Peacock kept walking and saw Goose eating grass. Hey, Goose, Peacock called. The way you waddle is so ungraceful. Take a good look at me. I always walk elegantly. You should be embarrassed of yourself. Goose didn't say anything, but his feelings were hurt. After Peacock left, Hen, Duck, and Goose gathered together. Hen said, I feel awful that I'm so heavy. I think maybe I should lose some weight. Duck said, I feel terrible that my feathers are so plain, but what can I do about something I was born with? Goose said, I feel bad about the way I walk. Maybe I should pay more attention to my posture when I move around. Peacock kept walking until he arrived at a pond. He looked into the water and was surprised to see another peacock that looked just like him. The same face, same neck, same feathers, and just as beautiful. Peacock was annoyed because he thought he was no longer the only most beautiful peacock. Hey you, if you think you're so beautiful, why don't you come up and compete with me? He said to the peacock in the water. But the peacock in the water didn't say a word. This only annoyed the prideful peacock even more. He stomped on the ground. The peacock in the water also stomped. Peacock got really angry, thinking the peacock in the water was making fun of him. Without thinking, he reached over to grab the other peacock. With a hard splash, Peacock fell into the water, but he couldn't swim. Help! he yelled out. Help! Help! Hen, Duck, and Goose heard the yelling and rushed to the bank to help. Duck and Goose jumped into the pond, grabbed Peacock by his wings, and pulled him toward the bank. Together, Hen, Duck, and Goose brought Peacock back to the land. When Peacock opened his eyes, he realized that he had been saved by the three neighbors he'd made fun of earlier. He felt ashamed. I'm terribly sorry, guys. I was mean to you, but you were still nice to me and saved my life, said Peacock, feeling guilty. It's okay. We all make mistakes, said Hen. We appreciate your apology, said Duck. Our feathers are not just for looks. They're useful, too, said Goose. I understand, and I will change my attitude from now on. If you don't mind, please accept me as a friend. I promise I won't be mean again. Sure, said Hen, Duck, and Goose together. Remember, friends don't judge each other. Peacock nodded in agreement. The four of them hugged, and the friendship began. Be friends! What a great book! What was your favorite part? Tell me in the comments. I can't wait to read with you again very soon. Don't forget to like, comment, 
share, subscribe, and peck that bell. Have you missed any books? Here's a link to the last book we read. Have a blessed day. Let's read.